reading the top post of all time on r slash tumblr on reddit yeah that's that, that that's a i think that's a good title yeah that, that's a good title my insulin fell out of the fridge and my kid put it back in the freezer by mistake and thereby destroyed and insurance won't replace it so that is $800, which luckily I have, because if I didn't, I'd simply die, which is what happens to one of my students. So, time to get to work. Just a reminder that Frederick Banting, discoverer of the process to synthesize insulin, sold the patent for $1 because it was so important to him that it would be widely available and easily mass-produced. Yes, you should be angry. Yeah, I can't help but agree. I'll never understand why Disney is so focused on live-action remakes when they literally own the rights to the Muppets. I would take a Muppet remake of a Disney animation classic over a live-action remake all day, every day. Muppet Beauty and the Beast, where the Beast is played by the only human actor, and he turns into a Muppet at the end. The Beast should be a conventionally attractive actor whom the Muppet townspeople continually call hideous until true love releases him from his curse and he shows true beauty. Blue felt and plastic eyes. The question is, who would play Gaston? Because... If any of you happen to be rich and generous, please buy me a hot air balloon and a fog machine. In return, I'll give you this picture. Please do not just right click and save the picture we're working on the honor system here. I can't believe I predicted NFTs. Yeah, and that's a pretty cool looking flamingo right there as a flamingo connoisseur myself. Mm -hmm. Having an abusive parent is kind of funny in retrospect. Like, mommy, why do you have beef with me? I'm four, I love you. Haters, my dad, can't stand to see a bad bitch, me, nine years old, winning, drawing too loud. How do you draw too loud? Well, you see, the thing is that a child abuse is inherently irrational. <laughs> Putting a different country's flag on my lawn to make it harder for GeoGuessr players to guess where they are. Lawn, United States. Having been told that it's rude to call dinner gross, our four-year-old is finding increasingly creative ways to express himself. This tastes unlucky to me. This sends my mouth into outer space. That's bad. Cauliflower is this much delicious. You told your toddler not to be rude, and so now he is developing an incredible skill with sick fucking burns. Europeans are so funny, literally like, I can't believe Americans don't have fresh bread. What the fuck are you talking about? I can't believe Americans think their store-bought sliced bread is real bread. There are bakeries in the United States. I'm not going to argue with a motherfucker about bread. Uh, which one of you was going to tell me that tea tastes different if you put it in hot water? Y you were putting in cold water? Radish? Answer the fucking question, Radish. Yeah, I thought for like five years that people just put it in hot water to speed up the teaification process. Didn't realize there's actual reason. You don't have the patience to microwave water for three minutes? Why are you putting it in the microwave to boil it? Do you think I have the patience to boil water on the stove? It takes less than a minute! Bestie, is your stove top powered by the fucking sun? How long does it take you to boil a cup of water on the stove? Like, seven minutes? Just stick the mug on top of it, of the stove on medium heat, and it boils in like two minutes. Less than that is you use a saucepan. I'm literally crying. You're putting the whole mug on the stove. On medium heat? Your stove is enchanted. Every single person in this post is a fucking lunatic. Do none of you own a fucking kettle? My old person trait is that I think a website should work in a web browser and not try to open an app. My old person trait is I think video games should work without needing access to the internet. My old person trait is that I think when I purchase a product that it should be complete and functional and also that I should actually own it. My old person trait is that I think I should be able to talk to an actual person in order to resolve issues with my bills without waiting on hold for 30 plus minutes. I'll have y'all know that my favorite figure skater's parents told her that to get a dog, she'd have to do well at the Olympics, and she went and won the frickin' Olympics when she was 15. She was all like, I want a dog. 
And her mom and parents were like, yes, sweetie, do well at the Olympics and we'll see. And then Alina Zagatova said, okay, did she get that well-deserved dog she wanted? I don't know if her parents got her one, but the fucking president of Japan gave one to her when he found out that she wanted one. I mean, look at that thing. Look at it! This teen to her parents every single day, she'd be like, bye, I'm off to walk my presidentially ordained victory dog. Billionaires worldwide. The growing awareness you can cyberbully them. GameStop, GameStop, Wall Street, Reddit. A bunch of Redditors fucking up hedge funds is the best thing I've read about it. 1K. Yes, that was indeed fantastic. Thank you, Internet. One of my favorite tidbits about Oblivion is that when Bethesda brought Patrick Stewart in to play Uriel Septim, they gave him this big 90-page booklet detailing the character's history and background and motivations, and they were really worried that they'd gone overboard and given him too much. Meanwhile, Stuart was delighted. He said that it was the best character prep he'd ever been given, and he wished more people would do that. It's worth noting that this character dies in the tutorial. In 20 years, you won't remember the time your kids didn't finish their dinner, but they'll remember how you freaked out and yelled about it. Last year I was talking with my mom about parenting, and she said, well, at least I never made you feel like I didn't love you. I proceeded to tell her about a time when I was a kid, and she was yelling, screaming, and throwing things, and I said, I love you, in that small, timid kid's voice, and she said, well, I don't love you right now. Our relationship was never the same after that, and she didn't even remember that it happened. The axe forgets. The tree remembers. You remember that? It was a formative experience of my life. For you, it was Tuesday. I was today years old when I learned that astronauts Mark Lee and Jan Davis married in secret nine months before their joint flight to the ISS and didn't tell NASA until it was too late to train replacements. They are the only married couple to have ever flown to space together. Oh my God, that is so romantic. I want that. I want it. I want it. I want it. I wanna. Space marriage in 2020. The economy is in shambles. In 2021, the economy is in shambles. We're doing it on our terms, and our terms alone, goddammit. Hey, Editing Jacob here to tell you to like and subscribe for more content like in this in the future. Uh, this was only the top 15. I recorded the top 30, so if you want to see the other 15, then why don't you just hit that like button and tell me and shout at me and tell me that I should do it. Because it's just content and I should totally do that. And hey, who knows, maybe I can turn reading Tumblr stuff into a weekly thing. I don't know, it didn't take that long to edit this. I'm rambling now and revealing my kind of schedule. Anyway, bye.